Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Today in this video we are going to troubleshoot DHCP related issue in the network. And this is my scenario. As you can see in my scenario there are two access layer switches. These are layer 2 switches, switch 1 and switch 2. Link between switch 1 and switch 2 is configured as trunk. And I have some users in VLANs like PC1 in VLAN 10, PC2 in VLAN 20 on switch number 1 and PC3 is in again VLAN 10 and PC4 is in VLAN 20 on switch number 2. Then I have one router for inter VLAN routing like I am using router on a stick method for communication between VLANs and DHCP service is enabled on the router so that client machines can get IP address. But the issue is you can see end devices are not able to get IP address from the DHCP server. So these end machines PCs are not able to get IP from DHCP server. So let's troubleshoot the issue. First of all let me verify the issue really PC PCs are not able to get IP. Here PC number 1 I am going to say IP DHCP and DD yes you can see PC is not able to perform DORA process right only it is generating discover message right so what is the issue let's verify all the things step by step first of all definitely we are going to check the pool pool configurations are correct or not on the router right so let me access this router R1 and on this R1 enable and show IP interface brief so you can see here I have two sub interface one is first one is f0 slash 0 dot 10 and another one is f0 slash 0 dot 20 on f0 slash 0 dot 10 I have this IP 10.1.1.100 10 which is the gateway for VLAN 10 users right and the status is up line protocol is up in the same way f0 slash 0 dot 20 IP is 20 dot 100 and the status and line protocol are up so IP configuration is fine so IP DHCP and we can say server server and statistics so here you can see the DHCP service is enabled. There are two pools. How many pools are there? Two pools are configured on this router. Memory uses you can see, but allocated IP address is zero. Even we can run command so IP DHCP pool here to verify the detail configuration of pool. So you can see we have one pool with name cells, right? Uh, we are total number of IP addresses are 254 list addresses is 0 exclude address is 1 one IP address we are excluding I think that is already running on the router so that's why we have excluded one address and then you can see the submit in pool 10.1.1.12 this is correct right so pool configuration is correct the another pool for VLAN 20 is finance where again one IP address is excluded total number of IP addresses are 254 and this is the range okay so pool looks fine DHCP pool configuration is correct so IP DHCP binding table in the binding table you can see I am not able to find any IP address right so let's do one thing when client is generating discover message we can check the operation of DHCP on this server with the help of debugging so let me use debugging feature debug IP DHCP server and event let to just identify that PC is able to send discover message to router or not now again let me go to PC and let me say IP DHCP no here you can see I am not able to receive discover message on the router not able to see any discover message on router means router is not receiving any discover message here that means there is some issue on switch right because 
PC is going to get IP from the DHCP from the router through switch only right and you know on the switch this interface which is going to be with router 0 slash 3 should be trunk link and the encapsulation protocol should be also same like here you can verify the encapsulation protocol so run interface f0 slash 0 dot 10 for an example so here you can see encapsulation protocol is dot 1q let me take you to switch 1 and let's verify the configuration first of all so interface trunk so guys here you can see on this switch we have only one trunk link that is e0 slash 2 which is connected with switch number 2 that link between switch 1 and switch 2 is trunk but 0 slash 3 is not configured as trunk now so interface e0 slash 3 and switch port you can see this port is in vlan 1 in the default vlan right not configured as trunk so let me configure this link as trunk first interface e0 slash 3 and switch port trunk encapsulation protocol must be same so dot 1q and then switch port mode trunk now so interface trunk you can see both interfaces are trunk and the allowed vlan you can check active vlan you can check and the encapsulation protocol is also dot 1q now i am expecting discover message on the router whenever and machines will request for ip address but you can see no still i am not getting any message any discover message on the router and pc is not able to get ip address from the dsap server still we have some issue and again issue is on the switch only because because you can see the operation on the dsap server is nothing right that means dsap is DHCP server is not receiving any DHCP discover message correct that's why it is not generating any offer message right and Dora process is not working even on PC you can see DDD only that discover message only so now what is the issue what can be the issue guys first think about it see on the switch we have verified this link is the trunk link encapsulation protocol is also fine here we have sub interface for vlan 10 as well as 20 ip address is correct pool is correct pool is also correct but when machine is generating discover message the scp discover message with the broadcast switch is not forwarding it to router right let me verify one more thing here like this interface is in vlan 10 or not because this interface must be in vlan 10 so on switch so vlan brief so 0 slash 0 0 slash 0 is in vlan 10 only that is correct 0 slash 1 is in vlan 20 that is correct right vlan configuration is correct so what can be the reason now now let me verify the dscp is poofing right a snooping is poofing like attack to avoid the attack we can configure dscp is poofing here is snooping here right so let's verify dscp is snooping here on switch number one i'm going to say so ip dhcp is snooping if a snooping is enabled right so this command is going to show you so yes you can see switch dhcp is snooping feature is enabled over here right so okay if a snooping feature is enabled then 0 slash 3 must be configured as trusted port 0 slash 3 must be configured as trusted port right so let me check this interface is configured as trusted or not by the way here you can see no this interface is not configured as trusted so ip dhcp is snooping and then you can check binding right so you can see here trusted port is not there and there is no any binding on the switch so we got the issue issue is here we have enabled the snooping on switch dscp snooping but we have not configured the trusted port and you know that means if trusted port is not configured then what will happen switch is not going to forward dscp discover message from the untrusted port and all or all are the untrusted port by default only right so let me configure this link as a trusted link interface e0 slash 3 
and IP DHCP snooping and trust like this and then so IP DHCP and now you can see 0 slash 3 interface is configured as trust allow option is yes and one more thing like 4 VLAN 10 and 20 also a snooping should be enabled globally also it should be enabled and for VLAN 10 and 20 also it should be enabled so yeah that's fine you, here you can see DHCP snooping is configured on the flowing VLANs VLAN 10 and 20 now let me try to get IP from the PC PC and say IP DHCP no uh, still PCs are not able to get IP address from the DHCP server so now what is the issue again let me take you to switch and here let me verify the configuration so IP DHCP snooping guys one interesting thing is there see here what is happening on the switch like whenever you will enable DHCP snooping automatically option 82 will be enabled on your switch here you can see a snooping engineer have enabled the snooping this switch is not really agent right so option 52 82 is not required here right because this switch is not really agent option 82 is for really agent only right to share the information of relay agent and here you can see inspection of option 82 is enabled right this is the reason i think pcs are not able to get ip address right this on the switch automatically it will enable whenever you will enable the snooping right manually you have to disable it okay so let me try to disable it and then let me try to get ip here i'm saying no IP DHCP snooping information and uh, option 82 right option only not 82 I think yes this comma and now again I am going to verify the DHCP snooping configuration and this time you can see insertion of option 82 is disabled now insertion of option 82 is disabled and snooping is enabled for both VLAN VLAN 10 and 20 now let me try to get IP from the PC from the PC say IP DHCP and now you can see I am able to see some operation on the DHCP server adding binding table right so yeah and now you can see the PC is able to perform DORA process and this PC got the IP address which is 10.1.1.2 correct now pc is able to get ip address we can even verify it on the server or we can verify it on the switch as well because as snooping is enabled so so ip dhcp binding table in the binding table you can see this is the mac address of your pc and this is the ip address right the assigned ip address fine great now pc1 got the ip address now let me take you to switch and on the switch you can check binding table and in the binding table also we are able to see one binding here a snooping binding for this particular MAC address this is the MAC address of PC1 IP address and the interface right and the type is DSAP snooping great now PC1 got the IP address let me check VLAN 20 user means PC2 is able to get IP or not IP DHCP Yeah, PC2 is also able to get IP address and it will get IP from 20 subnet 20.1.1.1 great you can see right so VLAN 10 user as well as VLAN 20 both VLAN users are able to get IP let me check connectivity ping 10.1.1.1 yeah now why VLAN 10 and 20 users are not able to communicate okay so I think IP was 10.2 yeah IP was 10.2 let me ping again 10.2 PC1 IP is 10.2 and you can see ping is working PC1 and PC2 are able to communicate with each other now let me access PC3 and on PC3 I am going to assign IP from DHCP IP DHCP hmm but still we have some issue here 
PC3 is notable to get IP. PC3 is notable to get IP. Again, PC3 is in VLAN 10 on switch number 2. Now, how we can troubleshoot it? Let me access switch number 2 and so IP DHCP snooping again I am going to verify the snooping again here you can see trusted port is not configured but E0 slash 2 should be configured as trusted because from this interface which will send uh, discover message right so let me take you to global config mode then interface E0 slash 2 and say IP DHCP if DHCP is snooping is snooping is enabled do so ip dhcp snooping snooping so yes you can see snooping is enabled and again here you can see option 82 is by default enabled so we need to disable option 182 sorry one option 82 again insertion insertion of option 82 is enabled and we need to configure this link as a trusted link so ip dhcp snooping trust first command and then no ip dhcp snooping information option right to disable option 82 done and now let me try to configure ip on pc number 3 through dhcp ip dhcp Now you can see Dora process is working and PC number 3 got the IP which is 10.3 and let me ping 10.1.1.2 PC1 and you can see ping is working. Now let me ping PC2 ping 20.1.1.1 I am able to ping PC2 also. Let me assign IP on PC4 say IP DHCP. And this machine is also able to perform DORA process and this machine have IP 20.2 very good ping 10.1.1.2 ping is working and ping 20.1.1.1 ping is working even ping 10.1.1.3 PC3 right so all the PCs are able to get IP address from DSCP and all are able to communicate with each other so this was just a small troubleshooting related to DHCP so guys uh, here issue was related to DSCP snooping if you have any question query concern please let me know in the comment section if you are not clear with the snooping concept or like our inspection concept option 82 just let me know in the comment section just say I need one video on option 82 or DHCP snooping right I will try to upload video as soon as possible but if you have learned something from this video then please hit on like button if you are new on the channel if you have not subscribed this channel till now then please subscribe this channel I will meet you soon in the next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching